When people think about sharks, they often think about them in a negative light. But sharks are generally misunderstood, and there's a wide range of different species, ranging from super small all the way up to the whale shark, with a wide array of temperaments and behaviors in between. Here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, we have a couple different species of sharks, some of them being our endangered zebra sharks. They're pretty calm, they are fairly docile, they'll allow you to get close, and as a result, we're able to interact and manage them in a really different way. We can actually get in the water with them to be able to do their annual physical exams, collect blood work, and ultrasound. And another really cool thing it allows us to do is to participate in research projects, like our partnership with the Georgia Aquarium and Ripley's Aquariums. We're putting two accelerometers on zebra sharks, Tala and Sheila, here at Discovery Reef. We're doing this to understand how these two animals are using their habitat. So, what depth are they using? How often are they resting on the bottom? How often are they swimming and burning calories? These are all important pieces of information we need to know to make a diet that's crafted to each individual shark. So you might not think that they do different things, but we do see a lot of individual personalities, and these tags will allow us to capture that. So this, this project is super cool because it allows us to collaborate across zoos and aquariums. So different institutions have different number of animals, but when we pool our resources together and work with a great husbandry staff and veterinary staff, we can actually accomplish a lot of really neat research. So our girls, Sheila and Tala, are really amazing animals to work with, and it's our job to make sure that they're receiving the best care that they possibly can while they live with us here at the aquarium. When the Georgia Aquarium and Ripley's Aquariums offered this partnership for this research project, it was a perfect marriage of science and then the husbandry and day-to-day -day care of these animals. So by placing these accelerometers, we're gonna obtain a ton of data, not only about our two girls specifically, but about the whole population of zebra sharks under human care overall. Sharks don't have arms, so we had to get a little creative and the researchers had to get super creative with how we were placing these accelerometers on our sharks. And they came up with an ingenious solution of putting a wildlife tracking device into a small like cellophane plastic wrapping to protect it from the pretty harsh salt water. The next step becomes, how do you attach it? We actually used two sutures to just affix it into place, and they really didn't feel a thing. We were able to do this utilizing a natural behavior that some sharks have called tonic immobility. So by flipping them upside down, they actually go into a very calm, zen space. They gill the whole time, they're oxygenating really well, but they're totally relaxed. We also used some lidocaine to kind of numb that area, so they really didn't feel a thing. Sheila and Tala are doing great following their accelerometer placement. They're swimming, they're eating, acting like nothing at all happened. All the while, they're serving as amazing ambassadors, not only for zebra sharks, but for all sharks. They're helping teach people how essential sharks are in their ecosystem, and they're helping us collect data that's essential to help us care for them under human care, as well as their counterparts in their native range. 